Why aren't you helping? This is an emergency, life or death situation that requires your immediate attention. Once again, this is a very serious situation. Please activate the terminal in front of you and follow the instructions. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. I was simply evaluating your ability to respond and react to a stressful situation. That's my job. I'm here to help you. So, do you really want to try this again? You've been at this for far too long. And, for some reason, you seem really stressed out. Your answers from the questionnaire, somewhat reassuring, but I'm concerned you're becoming further detached from reality. Do you at least remember how this all works? Very impressive. This is all a very good sign. Just step inside and relax. relax. respond well to that memory. It was from a better time in your life, before the endless hours of hard work and regret that destroyed your self-worth and forced you to question all the choices you've made. But perhaps things are different now. Are you ready to continue? I hope you have the mental fortitude to remember what happens next. Something very meaningful had occurred. Your office. You were always there. Late at night. night, night. The hippocampus is critical only for recent memories, but not for older ones. Over time, the hippocampus teaches the surrounding brain, the cortex, how to represent a memory. An alternative theory accounts for these discrepancies by proposing that the hippocampus selectively stores one type of memory, a episodic, while the surrounding cortex stores another, semantic. In the way it now, it would be a recording. It would be a recording. Now, this is another you, see, you seem to be making connections to your past. I'm glad you haven't completely lost your mind. Now let's continue with this train of thought and see where it takes you. I'm waiting for you. Why aren't you helping? This is an emergency, life or death situation that requires your immediate attention. Once again, this is a very serious situation. Please activate the terminal in front of you and follow the instructions. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. I was simply evaluating your ability to respond and react to a stressful situation. That's my job. I'm here to help you. So where should we begin? What do you remember? To be honest, I'm a little concerned about your current mental state. Your answers from the questionnaire, somewhat reassuring, but I'm concerned you're becoming further detached from reality. Do you at least remember how this all works? Does this place look familiar? This is your home, where you lived with your wife? I just tried you at the office, but you didn't answer. Listen, 
You need to be careful. Y your theory is based on initial assumptions that may not be accurate. You could hurt yourself. Also, we need to talk about 558F. You know, I can't just sit here and watch time go by. Get back to me. This, this is all happening too fast. Not like before. We don't want you to end up like... Never mind what I said. It's important that you remain calm and follow any memory you can at this point. Always coming back to the office. So many problems you've created. If only... you had more time. Something very strange happened while you were in there. Sometimes success requires an exponential number of failures. Do the math, you'll see. Never mind, I'll do the math. One moment. So I did the math, and I was right. Moving on. You're ready for the truth. What are you doing? There's nothing back here of any interest. Please be careful. Nobody knows exactly what that control panel does. I think it's mislabeled. Wait. Please stop. I was just about to tell you something very important. Please. Why are you doing this?
I get concerned that false memories are being planted in your mind. What are you chasing? You can never come back. Everything you've seen, nobody ever comes back. What are you chasing? The semblance of the past. You can never come back. Sometimes I get concerned that false memories are being planted in your mind. Why aren't you helping? This is an emergency, life or death situation that requires your immediate attention. Once again, this is a very serious situation. Please activate the terminal in front of you and follow the instructions. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. I was simply evaluating your ability to respond and react to a stressful situation. That's my job. I'm here to help you. So, do you really want to try this again? You've been at this for far too long. And, for some reason, you seem really stressed out. Your answer is from the questionnaire. Suggest you may not understand the questions. Do you at least remember how this all works? Must be possible. We can force ourselves to deliberately forget. Through EEG measurements, we should be able to capture the exact moment when the memory is inhibited. That is when the degradation is imposed. The inhibition of memory uses that activity on us. Sometimes I get concerned that false memories are being... Before. Before you continue, you should know. This memory appears to be corrupt and unstable. You can enter, but there's no guarantee you'll be able to return. I assure you, however, there are answers inside. In six seconds, the field containment will collapse, and the memory will be lost forever. You must decide now. This memory has been corrupted, and is no longer accessible. You've made your choice. You always wanted to be right. Was it worth it?
very impressive. This is all a very good sign. I find it ironic, however, that you spend so much more time focused on the bad memories. And not the good. Maybe not ironic, but incredibly sad. I've been waiting for you. This is the end. The end you've chosen for yourself. It might have been different had you taken another path. But here you are. How does it feel? Isn't this what you've always wanted? It's okay. You'll get another chance. Depending on what you believe. <laughs>